Nate Smoyer from Real Team Panda coming at you with a new product overview video, and this one's featuring the company called Home Light. Now they stood out to me because one of my prospecting secrets or tips, I suppose now because it's not a secret, is I cruise the job boards of those in real estate tech to see what they're hiring for, to see where companies are looking to expand. And I came across Home Light on Angel List, and so they described themselves as Moneyball for real estate, and I just had to know that. Uh, as an FYI out there, I don't know anything about movies and had to look up what is Moneyball and apparently it's a really popular movie. Somebody tell me the reference. I don't quite get it. Anyway, here is Home Light. Home Light says they analyze millions of home sales to find the best performing real estate agents. What exactly does that mean? And well, they go over in this, in their, uh, in their website. So they've introduced 247,300 buyers and sellers to top local real estate agents. And, you know, I, I thought, okay, well, that's kind of cool. Let, let's dive into just exactly how does it work? Because just because you help me find an agent, I, I just want to know what, what does that look like? And this is all from the consumer perspective. So uh, you go through, tell them what you're looking for. They run some numbers in their database. Uh, they're searching in their database, 29 million transactions, 2 million agents, and over 200,000 brokerages. So you'd think after analyzing all those numbers, they're going to be able to find you a good agent. They review some top, uh, or you, you review the top agent matches that they come up with for you. They're trying to match up to three. And then you talk to an expert, meet your matches, decide who to work with, and then close the deal on your house. Seems pretty simple. Now, the first thing I had to ask was, how much does it cost? And they don't even shy away from this. It's the very first question in the FAQs, zero. It costs the buyers and sellers to use Homelight no money. And the next question is, how do they make money? And of course, this is through the broker-to-broker -broker referral fee. I don't know what the split is. They don't say it on here, and I haven't signed up to go through that. Um, but it seems like a pretty good model. You know, they're not having to ask agents money for up, up front for advertising, and you know, they get to share in the commissions, which, as you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, as the prices of homes go up, so does the actual earnings on commissions. Now, the other thing about this is um, I thought was interesting is that they actually don't allow agents to advertise. So they specify we are different from Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor.com because agents cannot advertise uh, on the platform. So again, you know, you have to look into how to get involved as an agent, um, but uh, it seems like a pretty cool platform. And so I, I wanted to go through a few other things, um, and we're going to do a little bit of a different video than I normally do. So uh, looking through some of their pages here, um, they have the property valuation. So this is one of the ways they generate some seller leads. And then they have downsizing. So if you're maybe looking to downsize, they've got something specific for you. Um, and so you can enter in where you're looking to buy your next uh, property. And then uh, I wanted to go a little bit further. So I went through the about page, best way to find a real estate agent. And I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to enter in my zip code. We are back up in the northwest. So Bellingham, Washington, just north of Seattle. And it's actually really simple. I, I like the funnel of what they got going on here, right? So we're going to say we're buying. Maybe we're looking for some commercial, right? And you can see up in the top right-hand corner, that's crunching the numbers right up there. So it's showing me how many agents, 6 to 12. I don't know how that factors the number of agents. It doesn't look like it changed it. Are you also looking to sell a property? Yes. Um, and then the next is where they actually capture the lead. So I thought that was pretty good. I like this little uh, slick model of, of getting a lead. I might leverage that. Now, one of the things I wanted to do on this video was take a look at what, how they're marketing themselves. Again, this is what tells me what they believe their value proposition is and how they're approaching it. So plugging in some data into SEM Rush, good old SEM Rush. You can see that they do have, uh, what we want to look at is the blue and orange here. So they actually have a pretty good pre uh, presence uh, for some organic traffic, but they're definitely paying for some traffic. Uh, look like we have a few notes here. Let's see what we got. A uh, streak of, okay, that's just some Google Ads updates. So you can see that they're definitely doing quite a bit of pay for advertising. I hear people say this all the time that lead generation doesn't work. Uh, or paid ads don't work, or search ads don't work. And look, if companies are paying for ads for that long a period of time, you you definitely know that there's there's something to it. Um, organic competitors, e appraisal. Uh, I don't know how to say that one. REO industry directory, hmm. realestatebook.com. Okay, 
Um, and even branded search. Check this out. A lot of people fail to really safeguard their brand. Uh, but it looks like Home Light is actually doing a little bit of uh, protection there. They've got some branded search happening. I did want to go over, though, the, the competitors here. Let's actually go down to the paid competitors so that you can get an idea. Maybe you've heard of other services similar to this. Uh, looks like we got Top Agents Ranked and Dave Ramsey. And so these are the, those two websites. Very similar, help you find agents. Uh, cost the consumer no money, and then uh, the company on the back end, say like Dave Ramsey ELP, you know they make money on the commission side. So you know, in a sense, it costs the consumer nothing up front, but it does cost the agent money. The little dirty secret here is that you can actually negotiate part of your agent's commission towards, like, say, closing costs or down payment uh, or discounts. Um, and if you're using one of these services, you're probably less likely to be able to negotiate those types of things. But hey, I say give it a shot. Why not go after what you want? Uh, but these are some competitor services here if you're looking to ways to finding uh, uh, agents or having agents compete for your business. And then we've got some display advertising from Homelight happening here. You can see the breakdown. They're doing quite a bit on mobile. Look at this, tablet, tablet, mobile, mobile. Look at that tiny sliver of desktop, only 9%. Uh, and quite a bit on the HTML Likely Google Smart Ads, um, so you can see them right here, right? You upload your image, some headlines, and then Google optimizes those to, to fit the, uh, the best sizes. Uh, but literally, there's only two that you need to worry about anyway. Uh, and then we've got some text ads happening here. Also wanted to go through and, whoop, there we go, and uh, show you some of the Facebook ads they're running. So you can see they're being very specific about which cities. we got Boston here. We got Seattle, very signature with the Space Needle, right? We got some Portland um, ads here, and they're really pushing. Look, they've got some stats and some others to try to push the rapid city growth. Um, this one, it's highly competitive, but look, only the top 3%, that kind of thing. So thought that was cool. Uh, definitely Home Light knows, hey, this is competitive. You got to go after it and get it. They're taking out the expense on the front and hoping that you'll work with them and then they can cash in on the back end. Um, now, who's actually behind Homelight? So actually, there we go. Um, so taking a look at their, so they've been around since 2012, but I believe they've been doing business since 2015 um, as an actually open business, Series B. So they've raised quite a bit of money here. You can see $55 million, um, and they do show some of the investors on their website. Uh, they go through it. You can see the different rounds here uh, of of where they've where they've been. So it's not exactly a new model, but I, I it stuck out to me because the honey ball or the the money ball honey ball the money ball for real estate that was the line that stuck out to me. I thought well maybe they have something pretty cool here, and so I'm going to be doing a little bit more digging. But there is your overview of the week, a company that puts realtors um, on a platform allows the consumer to come through, answer some questions, get an unbiased uh, recommendation of a few realtors. Obviously, some sort of bias in there because if no deal is closed, home light don't make no money. Um, but uh, yeah, tell me what you think about services like this. You think this is a place for them? You think this helps the market, hurts the market? Um, and what you want to see next? Thanks so much for watching. We'll have another one of these coming at you soon.